Okay, let's see if I can hear myself. Oh, hi everyone. <clears throat> I wanted to uh, do this quick stream um, to finish this picture, this one here. Uh, but also I wanted to try um, the 4K streaming thing. Um, I'm trying to stream this in 4K using a new camera. So um, there's a great possibility that stuff will explode, burn, turn off, the battery will end or whatever in the end, in, in like midstream. So uh, if I just disappear, that's probably, uh, that's part of the plan. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, you should be able to see it in like nice quality. Um, I can see it in HD, but I don't see like 4K. I don't know if you can just put, put 4K uh, on stream that's live. I haven't done this at all, so I don't know. Um, yeah. turning off why well, it's turning off so yeah expect stuff to get weird can you just put it on back please okay it's on um let me check do i have something here that makes it uh, sound setup power management Mm -mm -mm. So, um, when I'm trying to figure out this, um, let me just explain. So, I had a very nice camera uh, that I have been using for uh, a long time for all my um, like photos and stuff. Uh, and I wanted to have a second one for ah, auto power off here we go off good that should take the problem off let's see uh, yeah okay uh, we should be good uh, So I am streaming at 4K. Um, it should be 4K. I really don't know how this um, uh, should work, but yeah, let's just see how uh, stuff happens. At least it's, it's good quality. So, uh, I have been using um, a lot of cameras. I have been using this camera uh, lately, which is the um, wait, which is the uh, Panasonic Lumix G8, um, and I really liked this one uh, because it has like this viewfinder that you can tilt, and it has the screen that you can tilt. It's a very nice camera. Um, but um, yeah, it, it broke, so um, uh, I um, cannot use it anymore. It's very washed out, isn't it? Uh, dun, 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 yay. Let's see why. Let's do this. Be better. Okay. So I have been using this camera, which is very nice. Um, if you can buy this camera, I really recommend it because it's a very, very good camera for making photos. I had a nice um, Leica lens on it, uh, but unfortunately, the camera died on me recently. And when I contacted 
uh, Panasonic to fix it, they told me that um, it would take um, about $800 or whatever to fix it. And I bought this used for like 600 so um, that's not gonna work. So I thought that um, I would try to use this kind of opportunity to um, try to uh, invest into in a new camera and try to set up also it so I can stream live in 4K and do all kinds of interesting stuff with it. So um, I bought a um, uh, Fuji X-T30 Mark II, which is here um, and here. And I'm trying to set it up so I can stream. I still don't have like the uh, cable that would allow me to charge it while I stream, so I only have one battery. It probably will not last for long, but um, yeah, I, I wanted to test some things and start streaming. If the camera goes dead, like um, midstream, I'll probably swap it for the one that I usually use. Uh, so this one, and um, yeah, we will continue, but beware that um, um, yeah, things can uh, will probably go um, weird today. Okay, the zoom is really nice. I like it. Okay, so I did this picture yesterday uh, while on stream with uh, my patrons, and I want to try to sketch it some more. Uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask and yeah, let's start to paint. I have my reference file here, so I will show it to you for a bit. And let's take some brushes and let's start with this one. Mm, okay. Maybe a bigger brush like this one. It's a bit too contrasty, huh? Sorry for adjusting stuff on the fly, but there's some things that you only see when, when the stream is actually live and doing things. Um, okay. So this is a small shrine that's on top of a pond in Jindaijis, which is a, a, a shrine, a big shrine near our house um, in kind of walking distance. And I also have this picture here on my iPad <clears throat> so I can see what I'm doing. I'm very excited for the new Ghibli movie. Uh, we are both excited together with Kana. We'll see it as soon as it as it goes to um, to the cinemas. And yeah, uh, we will be really really happy to to see it, whatever it is. Uh, I have this kind of um, attitude to it that whatever Hayao Miyazaki shows us in the cinema this time, I'll be kind of happy to see it. This is too saturated, it looks almost... Um, Let me just cancel that filter and see how it looks without anything. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
good. Watercolor sketches are fun. Drawing is fun. Let's let's draw together. Uh, I'm having fun with some new paints because I'm using the Ink Tense set. So this one that I put in a nice new box recently. So yeah, having fun doing art. Awesome. Um, I have done backgrounds for your name uh, at that time I was working at the animation studio that made that movie uh, so I made uh, like 100 and what tw 10 or 20 um, backgrounds for that movie I did some like promotional art for um, weathering with you and I also did um, backgrounds for uh, Hannah and Alice um, what do you call it? Murder Mystery or something like that uh, which was uh, also an animated movie like um, but I also did backgrounds for TV series like uh, Space Dandy and, and so on so but that was that were like side jobs where uh, when I was at the studio wait I have to figure out the colors Mm. Maybe it's too bright. I'll just take, take it down a notch. And Ah, that's a, that looks be a bit better. Yeah, um, he he actually got. Um, I think he got into the um, Oscar show commission, uh, like the the people who decide who gets on on Oscars or something like that recently. Um, I think there was news like that um, in in uh, like the uh, in the TV uh, recently. So I was uh, kind of surprised. He did like. The Hannah and Alice mystery movie which was like um, just with real actors and then he wanted to do like a sequel uh, but um, like a lot of the locations that they used for the original movie were no longer there so they decided that uh, it would be kind of fun to try to do it as an animation uh, and um, he commissioned like the studio I was working uh, at to do um, uh, the, all the backgrounds uh, for it so th that was kind of a fun job while uh, Makoto Shinkai was still working on the scenario for the next movie uh, we, we were doing like some television work and, and like things like that yeah, like uh, the director of your name, Makoto Shinkai, had a desk like six meters from me, so um, I was I met him all time for five years. So yeah. And that was that's like the studio. The studio is not so big, so. They grew a lot after the, the first movie. Um, yeah, he's a nice guy. He's very professional. Um, like he made like a, a, a lot of his first movies uh, by himself, so he knows knows a lot of the stuff that um, is just goes into production. So if you ask him something, just go to his desk and ask him something, uh, how this should look like or, or how that should look like, he'll just answer you with like technical knowledge that he has. Um, so that's very cool because you get a lot of um, like animation directors that um, can direct so they know what they want but they don't know how to get there and they rely a lot of, of the staff to just know what they're doing. Uh, but uh, yeah. 
No, I think he graduated from like、um, language things of、uh, like Japanese language、uh, degree, like writing and, and journalism, I think. But yeah, he, he was working on like games and stuff and uh, he, uh, just was painting all the things by himself when he started. So、um, I started、um, like my relationship with Japan because I、um, went to a school that was called the Polish Japanese School of Computer Science. I think they changed the name recently, but.、Um, and、um, I was on a course that was about computer graphics and stuff and design. So there were a lot of people that were interested in Japanese culture, like manga and anime.、Uh, so I kind of got dragged into it because I, I haven't been so interested in it, in it up to that point.、Um, And、uh, I, I was able to go to Japan、um, because I got a scholarship、um, to study、um, Japanese animation and manga、um, after I finished、uh, my university in Poland. That's the only reason that I was able to、um, actually go and study stuff. But I st started doing art like digitally in Poland, and、um, I was very lucky to actually g o t、uh, into like a small relationship with the guys that were selling the Wacom tablets in Poland. Uh, and、um, as a part time job, I would go to a lot of places and show people how to use these tablets, like、um, live demos and so on. That was my、uh, kind of part time work for、um, a lot of my、uh, high school and、um, uh, university in Poland. So、um, I kind of got into the job of doing,、uh, like, making money and, and supporting myself with art. Uh, pretty early, so I know that、uh, I kind of knew that、uh, if possible, I would like to continue that、um, when I graduated. So、it's getting through the battery quite fast and it's actually getting quite hot. It says like warning hot, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> On the, like a big, a big, um, a big c u r i m a k e r So I, I don't know if it's, that's a good sign. Ah, just a little bit of 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 a little bit. はパソコンには出てるんだけど、生放送に入ると 4K はな。あ<笑>消えた。<笑>ああ、たぶん熱くなりすぎたね。ああ、じゃああまり良くないね、これ。うん。I guess this camera is not very good for streaming.Hold up for technical problems. Yeah, but. でも今外,し外すからさ。あ,あ、僕は映ってるね。うん、OK, hold, hold for technical problems. We'll、uh, do a quick camera swap. And let's res resume if everything goes right.、うん、よいしょ。
one and yeah. Yeah, and now I can show you my new camera. <laughs> okay, so this is the new one. Uh, okay, I still have the filter from the old one. So yeah, off with the filter. Off with your head. No, see that. Uh, this is the new camera. Uh, so, um, so, um, so, um, yeah, so, um, XT3. Um, 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 it's the XT30 Mark II. Um, yeah. Maybe not so good for streaming. It's very hot. Will it turn on? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's continue with this one. Zoom. A bit brighter. I like this camera for, for streaming the, the, the G7. It's very re reliable. I have been using it for years and yeah, I feel kind of comfortable with this one. So yeah, probably I'll just continue using it for, for, for streaming. Don't change things that work well, they say, and there's probably a bit of um, truth in it. I need a bit more saturated saturation in it. Okay. Good, let's continue. That's that was a quite fast camera swap, I have to say. Um, I forgot what I was talking about, but yeah. Have you ever considered creating your own animated short story? Yes, um I actually um and that was one of the reasons that I uh, actually quit the animation studio. Um, it's like, uh, might, might kind of seem the wrong way around, but uh, when I was there and I was working on the movies by Makoto Shinkai, I was always kind of um, putting up my own ideas for uh, for stories and for... for uh, animations but um they never went anywhere um and the meaning that um the animation studio just didn't want to uh make them and i saw a lot of people um that were visiting our studio that were trying to do the same thing like uh, making um how do you call kikakusho in, in english um yeah, they were submitting their own stories to different studios and trying to get them made and and trying to uh, get the sponsors and even like going to to China to to get um, like the sponsors for it. And I know that even one guy kind of got the sponsors from China to make his own like full length movie and so on after years, like ten years of trying to kind of convince people to make it. And then um, they were like, in the end, they were like, yeah, whatever, no. Uh, so it's very difficult to to make it and I could make it kind of by myself or just like pay money to some animators to, to help me with it and if I um, uh, was making a short animation right now that's probably how I would do it but I don't have enough um, leeway in my pro work to uh, try to do something big like that yet but yeah I had a lot of ideas I had a lot of I submitted a lot of ideas I submitted a lot of um, like um, projects and so on and every time it, it kind of bounced uh, against the wall and in some cases it even was like quite, kind of really not funny because um, there are uh, programs for uh, animators like the Tamago uh, uh, Anime Tamago, I think it was called. So that was a program to like train young young animators in Japan. So they would take like 
young animators like 30 40 years old in uh, in japan that had some experience as, as animators uh, in big studios and they would give them money like for i think animations per year and they would do like 25 minutes animation and um, the guys would um, direct them but when i tried to applied for for that they were like no foreigners please so they didn't even look um, at what i was trying to do they were like no no foreigners so um i don't i don't i don't think that there's a possibility to kind of break through this really um uh, tough not like tough stale um corporation structure here in Japan um, if they uh, kind of think that want you uh, sometimes they will kind of give you um, things to do like um, Studio, Studio Ghibli uh, uh, made the movie with um, uh, Mr. David Dudok David I think he's called like the Red Turtle and there was the guy who directed um, uh, tech on concrete, but that's basically it, I think. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I mean, that's kind of racist, and that's also kind of, but I think, um, it's, uh, it's more like, uh, we don't want anyone from kind of outside the, uh, like business, so they don't any outsiders. So maybe even if you are a foreigner, if you worked, I don't know, 40 years or something as a like top level animator and like ate your liver doing um, stuff for some studios and um, I don't know, um, showed to work every day, even if you like drop dead and, and, and cough blood, maybe they would consider like doing something with you. but. <laughs> I am not I'm not going to do that. Uh, so yeah, I would love to do some of my original stories as animations. Um, I'll probably make them as comics first. Um, I'm now working on a book about stores again, but when I finish it, probably I'll do something like um, a comic with a longer story and, and so on. So, but I was I was lucky enough that uh, I was able to um, direct two uh, very short um, animations in Japan. Uh, one was uh, when I was still working at the animation studio and make, uh, made your name. And one was um, when I was a freelancer, I did an animation in collaboration with uh, Studio Colorido. So that was kind of fun. The first one you cannot see because it was um, like a, for an event that was a closed door thing. Uh, but the second one you can see, I think, on YouTube, and it's called Susume Carolina. Uh, wait, let me write it for you. Uh, and that was like a promotional video for uh, Carolina, who is a, a professional shogi, so the Japanese uh, like the chess uh, professional player. Uh, Aktualnie używam uh, szminkę głównie 
Mijelo jako dru, dru, drugi ten, e, jaką drugą opcję, ale aktualnie w tym momencie używam e, e, Ink Tense z Derwenta, e, które to są w sumie nie akwarele, tylko tu, tusze takie dziwne, a to tak for fun. Ale bardzo fajnie mi się nimi pracuje w sumie. A, ah, yeah, thank you for translating. <laughs> nice, thank you very much. I, I was I was answering the question that I usually use Schminke watercolors uh, and as a, my second choice I use Mijello um, just because Schminke is really popular in Japan and just because Mijello sent me paints like years ago and I still use them because they are very nice also um, and but recently and right now I have been using the, the, the Derwent Ink Tense which are not actually watercolors, but like weird inks that behaves like watercolors and are kind of waterproof and all kinds of weird. Uh, and I have been kind of testing them and I like them. Um, so for a lot of sketches in this sketchbook, I have been using these. And by the way, um, this I, I was uh, going to tell this uh, earlier, but I had problems with my camera. Uh, not problems, I was testing my camera. Um, the sketches in this sketchbook, I will sh show some of them uh, later. I already scanned them and I'll be launching a digital uh, sketchbook book thing um, that will be free for my uh, five dollar uh, tier um, patrons and will be also available on my Gumroad later. So, yeah. Um, I pre prefer that depends on, on the piece like for example when I'm doing a shop um, so something like this it has a lot of details and is full of stuff uh, I usually use my Schminke watercolors that have a lot of colors and I don't have to mix everything like uh, every like 50 seconds uh, a new color uh, because it has a lot of details and a lot of stuff going on so um, I prefer that but uh, if I'm doing something that's relatively simple like, like here uh, I can uh, use a more limited palette and also have fun with mixing the colors and doing things like this so it really depends on the uh, it really depends of what I'm doing um, um, by the way the question was uh, uh, do I prefer working with a limited palette or um, like a big palette with all the colors so if I'm doing something really involved um, that I just want to be fast then I just I will use all the like um, pre-mixed colors that I can get uh, but if I'm doing something that is more simple or, or I'm really um, wants to care about like the saturation of colors and I really want to use like all the saturation I can get from my paints then I'll use like single pigment very saturated Mijello watercolors or whatever to to get as much saturation and, and um, as little mixing as I can. So yeah, but you can get similar effects with with both approaches. Just the time uh, is you really have to put a bit of time to mix the colors and make everything look nice. But with uh, pre-mixed colors, you have a bit more. It's easier to get the same color twice, for example. And, um, you don't 
lose so much time on, on making all the colors from scratch. I can often like get away with just a premix premix thing. Forget it. Okay, no, no. Kana says, Can you whistle? I cannot whistle. Whistle, yeah. What type of anime do you watch if you watch anime? Um, I like anime that is a bit more um, kind of thoughtful and fresh, if you know what I mean. So something that's more um, surprising. So when I watch it, I don't know what will happen next. I, I, I probably that this is also for a lot of other movies but um yeah i prefer something that's a bit more um surprising so for example lately i have been trying the tengoku daimakyo anime and i kind of liked it but i didn't like some things about it but it, it's kind of good because it was surprising um i haven't seen uh a lot of things like this the story is very original and the characters are very original and the animation quality is awesome um, uh, so yeah thriller drama things paranormal sf fantasy kind of but um yeah like more than the kind of category uh, like genre, I, I'm more, I, don't, I, I really care more about like the, the story being original and, and so on. Like um, there was an anime, I think uh, a year or two ago that was called um, uh, Sunny Boy, which was very weird and I liked it. I haven't seen Dororo. Um, I think the character designs and like the animation, the look is not in my kind of taste. says that she read the original manga. Also? Mm. <laughs> mm. She says that she liked the original comic and had it had influenced her a lot, especially that the food looked really delicious. So probably that's why she also draws like, is very careful to draw all the food so it looks delicious. Uh, but the design of the characters and like how they look, um, how everything looks, really changed in the anime, so she didn't watch it. なんか一番見たんだけどあんまり好きじゃなかったけど。結構する。あ、サモテズカの。うん、いやいや。いや、it's says that um, they had it in her home when she was what a teenager? Teenager. 
Oh, uh, like 10, 10 or something. Because, yeah, like primary school. Because her sister probably is, was reading it. <laughs> her mother was reading it, okay. Osamu Tezuka, ne? Dare demo yon de tayo, ne? And I said she liked it, including like the ending. And I said, like, don't spoil it, please. I haven't, I haven't read, read it. So. ないね。まあ英語あるかもなと思うなので読んだらいいかなと思う。ねえ、ありそうやね。あ、uh, no problem, Samuel. If it's hiragana, I can read it without、uh, like. Having to go to the computer, so that's okay. Yeah, Sunny Boy was really weird. I liked it, yeah, unique, as you say.、Um, I,、uh, I haven't seen anything like that,、um, to be honest. A Sunny Boy? Uh, so、boy wa oh, like, I, like, I, I, I went into it because I really I liked the music, the soundtrack,、uh, because they hired、uh, the director of Cowboy Bebop to, to do the、uh, soundtrack choice. And he chose really very nice soundtrack for, for the whole animation. And I kind of bought the CD before I, I saw the animation actually. And then I saw the,、um, the animation, and I, I thought like, that was really kind of weird and very weird, but nice. I think it was like, one of the few series that I was actually kind of、um, interested in enough that I, was,、uh, I wanted to see what would happen next and, and so on. So, so, Ongaku, we, we really like the CD from, from that. Animation. We have been putting it on repeat for a few days. So I'm trying to put, like, in the background, I'm trying to put, like, blobs of color. That have more rounded shapes and more white in between, so just to simulate that they're kind of farther. And I'll try to put some more like hard details and hard shadows here with darker colors when I'm a, a bit more finished with the whole thing. So I'll probably color the whole thing like roughly and then add the details when I think where they are needed. I got Amazon, you hide it, Akiko. ミッケタミッケタそうだけどあんまり感じないんだよね<笑>それが唯一の残念なところでしたあとな,なんだろうなんか変にグロいシーンはたまにあるんだよねグロいつうかうんう
these paints are very weird because they don't get very dark they don't get very black they are kind of matte with not so much like darkness to like the black and so on and they are a bit chalky uh, so they give like weird gouache kind of feeling and at the same time they are a bit more waterproof when they dry so um, it's easier to paint layer on layer um, when uh, they dry up a bit so it's also very interesting actually I have been watching some streams from Steven Zapata recently and in one of his streams that I watched he was using like these paints and he told <clears throat> that these are waterproof when, when dried which is not very true because um, they are a bit waterproof not, not like uh, completely waterproof you, like you would expect from like a color ink or whatever uh, but uh, they are more waterproof than just regular watercolors so even if you paint something like some details and then you like uh, apply some uh, wash over it uh, there is a chance that you won't kill everything uh, that you already painted because it kind of goes meh um, these will stay in place as far as you're not using too much water and uh, the washes are not too thick and intensive so that's very in interesting because it gives you a bit a more kind of free way to experiment with layering paint and, and painting shadows on top of details and so on so yeah I bought like one set of these and then I like them enough that I bought all the colors that I can I could get here in Japan um, because some of the colors you can buy only like in sets so I, I had to buy a whole set just to do get like a color or two that I didn't have so yeah but yeah I like them I really hope that Derwent will not kind of cancel can, cancel them um, like next year or something so that would be I would just buy like all the stock that's in Japan for to have a bit more Uh, this is from reference this is from one of my photos that i took here um like all the things that i drew in the sketchbook are, are from reference okay so here's the reference uh, just for a second and this is like a, a small um temple shrine a small shrine on top of a, a pond that's kind of close to our house um, so we go for a walk there every morning which is nice so I want a bit more bluish green here in the distance and I want to make it as kind of thin as possible so here uh, so I can show the distance a bit more and then like the sunny boy なんか、なんか Um, yeah, I think like drawing from from like uh, on the spot and drawing in your studio is different. Um, you have different dynamics in if, in the subject. So when you're drawing on the spot, there will be like uh, st stuff changing. Uh, the lighting will change. You don't have the same kind of comfort and tools and stuff that you could use at and a control over everything that you can have in your studio uh, like at your desk 
so um yeah you you have to do things differently when you're outside so you will paint differently for sure um well maybe if you are just a planner artist and you only play, paint outside this is your main thing that so that there's no change there but um usually um you i i get simpler and i get faster i try to be uh, uh, a bit more rough and so on with with what i'm doing um so said i have bought a chair that i can take outside like a foldable chair that i can take outside and i can paint for hours and i actually did some uh, a painting with watercolors recently here that um i actually did two days uh, so uh, i was able to paint more details and so on so i spent like i don't know like eight hours maybe outside doing it um and then you get like white uh, after watch um, burns and so on <laughs> but yeah um, you have to fight with some like minus sides of being outside but there's also there are also plus sides you can see the thing better you can see the thing with like three three dimensional uh, vision so with both of your eyes and you can see the depth on the photo you can only like kind of summarize the depth based on what you already know about things and how uh, photos work but when you're outside you can actually see the depth which kind of helps to inform your picture better so for more difficult subjects when it's very hard to understand like if you're for example painting a person um it's really useful to just like walk around and um, like figures how stuff looks from a different angle you can decide the angle which is very important when you're painting outside you can just go around and, and take a different position and so on uh, so yeah it's completely different but it's not much about the technique or what you're using uh, to to finish the, the the painting but it's more about the circumstances i guess I would approach it kind of similar when if I was doing it outside, but I'm sure that would end up being a different painting. And I have no mosquitoes in my room, which is very nice. Ah, thank you. Have not watched you in around two years, but I always wanted to watch your videos, usually before bed. Uh, thank you for the great videos. Glad to see you still around. Thank you very much for your um, ten Australian dollars, I think, submission. Thank you. I will um, turn it into a coffee, um, or um, uh, we actually uh, have been drinking a lot of pom. How do you call it? Pomegranate? Pomegranate um, vinegar juice with some apple juice in it and it's very good. You can mix it with water or with like fizzy water or with beer uh, and it, it, it's really awesome. And I think it's also um, good for your body up too. Yeah, we, we uh, drink like the Japanese non-alcoholic beer. Uh, and we put, uh, I put like this in it, which is, tastes really nice. And um, about me being here, yeah, I'm here, but um, because I'm busy doing the book and um, we have a small son right now who is only like uh, a year and a half old uh, and we are taking him care of him and I'm trying to do two books at once. I have been very busy, so I just had to um, stop doing uh, some things. Uh, and as much as I liked posting things on, on YouTube, uh, YouTube has become very hard to kind of re reach people and uh, for the uh, videos that I upload to actually reach people. So. Um, but I really like to do live streams, so 
I will continue that for sure. But uh, I also want to do more videos too. Um, I bought a new camera, so maybe I can film some new things from like two angles and so on. So I'm kind of excited about that too. Yeah, this is this just just thing is is great because you just put like a bit of it like literally like few milliliters and it has uh enough of a distinctive taste that is it just enough to to make the water or like a fizzy water taste nice so you don't have to put a lot of it like one bottle like big one like this like lasts me uh, like two three weeks so Yeah, and uh, I also leave the streams on, so... Uh, I forgot to put, like, power to my laptop. Boom. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. Okay, so we have this part here and I want to leave some white around here and um, I'll show you the reference for a second like there is the white on the left and like brown green uh, on the right so yeah let's see I want to make it kind of look watery which let's try And I usually do like quite long uh, live streams for Patreon at least once a month. So um, if you join the Patreon for like even one dollar, uh, you can watch all the um, uh, videos so far. And I, I think there's almost like 80 of them, whatever. And in some of them, I was doing kind of just talking to the camera and doing some sketching uh, but in some of them we did some more interesting things like um, sessions of um, commentary on pictures that people that other patron uh, supporters uploaded and so on so I'm, I'm Polish originally. Um, but close, very close to Germany actually. Um, so I know some German words too. Very random ones actually. What art supply stores would you recommend in Tokyo? Um, obvious, uh, not obviously, but um, the, the obvious one to recommend, I think, is uh, the Sekaido in Shinjuku. Um, because I think it's kind of the biggest one. Uh, but I would also recommend to go to um, Ochanomizu station. And there are two stores there, very nice ones. Uh, there's one which is called uh, Tools, which is the, the maker of Copics, the Copic markers. And they have a store there, which have been there for years and years, and I haven't, I didn't know about it. Uh, and it's pretty nice. And there's a second one, Lemon Gassi, uh, which is more for kind of architects and like technical drawings. But they also have some nice stuff that you can buy in other places. And um, you can also go to Ginza, uh, which uh, has the Sekaido store, uh, not Sekaido, uh, Itoya store, which is also very nice, but it's more, more towards like um, writing and, and then drawing. 
they have a lot of very nice fountain pens and stuff uh, but there's also a second like branch of it like behind the store and there there is a bit more um of like painting and drawing uh, equipment but they have a bit more expensive things there so if you are looking for like very nice brushes or whatever uh, that are a bit more on the expensive side um it's it's good to go there too I'm really sorry, but I don't really do events like signings. If I go there, I go somewhere, I will um, announce it on my uh, website. But for now, I don't think there is a way to get uh, like signed books. Um, you can buy the uh, Hokkaido in ink, which is signed uh, on my. Um, the FTBA store um, and I guess there will be an event when I finish the next book and I'll be selling it uh, next year probably so if, if, if you are in, in Japan then um, there will be probably an event in Shinjuku and so on as, as we usually do like a signing thing um, yeah and I also will be doing a workshop this year. Um, it's still a bit uh, thin on details, but if you are in Japan and you would like to do some like watercoloring and and drawing cityscapes and stuff workshop, um, some details are already on my website. There's like a link on the main page, um, but it's still kind of in the early. Um, days of figuring things out Hello. Hello. Where's my OBS? It's here. Okay. So yeah, these are the shops that I would visit. Um, there are some more like specialized stores that you can go for, like if you want um, like traveler's notes, uh, traveler notebook uh, things. They have like their own store that's a bit more further from the center of Tokyo and so on. So, but yeah, in, in the stores that I mentioned, you, you, you can get most of things. そう、give Kana the the ban hammer. Oh, yeah, I'm not there, yo. Huh. 
。モデレーターになってるよ。Kana has the ban hammer. If anyone writes something、um, inappropriate in Japanese, she will、uh, ban hammer you. What are my favorite areas in Tokyo for inspiration? For sure, I would go for、um, like Yanaka Ginza. There are some very nice buildings there. I like、um, walking around Akihabara, but like not in the main part, but just go around and, and try to find like some old buildings and, and stuff.、Um, uh, Jimbocho and Kagurazaka. Are nice. I wouldn't go for like Shibuya and so on because、uh, it's just too too loud and, and too full of cars and stuff. Kanachan's Sakuki mo daiski da te. Thank you. Kana has actually published、um, her、uh, latest manga in a book form recently in Japan. And I went to a bookstore today because I just wanted to kill some time, and、um, it was there,、uh, like in a very nice place on the bookshelf. And I was like, Yeah!、And、the people around were like, What what, what he's doing? And I was like, Yeah, see, that's my wife. And like, okay, okay, just relax, breathe. Is just relaxing with, with the manga right now. She's reading、um, Are, Slam Dunk. <laughs> ah, but one thing that I want to do on YouTube,、uh, if I can, is like invite some people that I know and talk about things like art things. I already talked to some of them, and I think you will kind of like.、Uh, What they, have to,、uh, what they have to tell you. Like artists and, and, and stuff. Obviously. じゃあ,ありがとうね。I sell my appropriate brushes on Gumroad.、Uh, sell is a big word because、um, uh, there are z- zero plus, so you can pay what you want up for them. But yeah, you can you can buy them on Gumroad. There's an older version that's for like old versions of appropriate, and there's like the new version that's、uh, for the five, I think, plus version. Okay. So、just download the new- newer version and then try. If it, everything burns and, and crashes, then you have to download the older version. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Okay. 
so I have a lot of like already masses of green here so I'll just start to add some darker details and the, the, the good things about th these paints is that um, they're not too dark so even if I put a lot of dark color somewhere it would be like very very black when they dry so I like it Mm -hmm. Then I switched to more like how do you call it tapered brush, which helps a bit with putting down details. So if you go to my website, uh, there is like a tools section there and if you scroll down there are links for Gumroad for the brushes. I prefer syn synthetic brushes. I tried a few times to go for like natural hair brushes, like kind of, I don't know, I, I, I probably am not trained to use them properly or something, but because they just fail me very quickly. And the t even even like really nice ones, I, I tried like, um, like the Windsor and Newton series, I think 13 or whatever is the, 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 the number and like the kind of expensive ones and um i don't know i just they keep kind of failing on me and and being uh, like the, the tip is splitting and so on uh, i really like um synthetic brushes to be honest the the, the added bonus is that um you don't hurt any, any animals when making them which is very important for me too but you know they're cheaper and I don't really see the difference. Maybe it's just because I'm not painting in like this, like watercolory style that really requires to have like a lot of water and pigment at once in the brush and stuff to be really flowy and so on. But for my kind of um, type of drawing um, and painting, it, I really don't see why I, I would have to buy expensive like Kolinsky brushes or whatever so I use a mostly only uh, synthetic brushes I'm using Escoda Perla here which is synthetic and aquarellist Japanese brand and it's also synthetic so yeah synthetic yeah synthetic and Escoda especially I like I like how the brushes behave yeah we'll have to go walk our dog later um, we already like went for a walk with her but I usually go like at 8 p.m. or something with her so and I'll just wait for like a nice moment when there's it's not raining so much and try to like go as fa as fast as I, as we can but yeah it's kind of rainy It would be nice if, if the rain was making it a bit cooler, but it's making it a lot like uh, humid, so it actually feels warmer.
Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Get like really intensive green here. ありがとう。Just a bit here, so these branches are not too dark. More blue. I want to show the distance here, but it's nice if I have some branches here and there in the distance too, so it looks more like trees and just not a clump of green thing. So yeah, I'm really thinking about, not really thinking, but I really started to do um, the sketchbook into a digital book. So if you stay to the end of this stream, I'll um, just quickly show a few of the pages from this that will be in, in this digital book and I'll be publishing it to um, Gumroad and to Patreon um, uh, when it's ready. Um, so if you are a, a patron that has that is in like the five dollar tier, you will get it for free. Um, if you are not, you can, you will be able to buy it on Gumroad. And I think I'll update it when I finish a bit more of these sketches, like the full sketchbook. So I'll do a YouTube sketchbook tour and I'll update that um, book also. Yeah, I have my super note here and I use it a lot for like note taking and stuff. 
um, I have been actually doing a more more sketching uh, with a ballpoint pen recently, so I, I have been doing a bit more of that. Uh, but yeah, the Super Note is still in use, and um, it had some very nice updates recently that um, made it even more useful for me. Because the actually like the upload of the files and so on get got a bit more simpler, and I actually am able to do now live streams for from the Super Note because you can kind of stream the screen. So uh, probably I'll do some of that too uh, when I have a bit of time. Uh, which is a very interesting thing. So yeah, they added a functionality that when you are on, on a Wi-Fi network network with a computer, you can stream your um, uh, screen like through a web interface, which is very interesting. So. Um, the color, um, th this is a very muddy mixing palette here. Um, oh. So it's like, it's like this. Sure. So it's very mu muddy. I'm, I'm kind of working on this randomly. I usually don't kind of prepare color and then use it. Uh, I just go as I uh, make colors as I go. Ah, I'm going to go. Ah, like I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Ah, I'm going to go. Ah, I'm going Yeah, the e ink stream. I want. I want to. I want to do. I'm. I'm still. Uh, I have actually got the super note from them because I wanted. They wanted me to test the. They wanted to te me to test the painting application that they are developing for the uh, uh, Super Note, but they still haven't done it. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to to using using it when they finish it. And you can already do sketches and stuff with with what is there now, but um, the painting application will give you some like pencils and stuff that is more. Uh, geared towards like real drawing to be honest i i actually enjoy it how it is now because it's kind of limiting in the good way like you cannot zoom and and uh, you have only few like simple pens so uh, it's very nice to kind of limit yourself and just focus on what you're doing yeah the finish is very nice it's kind of matte and Pastely. This is one thing that I would not do with usual watercolors. I put a lot of like dark color on some details that I already did. Uh, that it would just kill the details. Um, but here it's okay. It's not like perfect, but it's quite alright.
Yeah, it is a bit chalky. I guess they 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 are using some kind of opacifier for them because um, the effect is really. Trying to get a bit more three dimensionality from this by adding some darks here and there. So there are some lines here with I did with what with the color that later I I put some, th this green shadow here. If I was doing this with just regular watercolors, the, the lines would be gone, like completely. Manga mm -hmm. na. Manga Um, yeah, I'm working on my next stores book, uh, which this time is a bit different and uh, more difficult because uh, I'm making everything from imagination, uh, which is why it takes so long to finish it. <sighs> okay, it is more or less this. So, for example, this is a piece from the new book that I finished recently. Which is a restaurant, not restaurant, but like a um, uh, bakery with some cafe bits and like the back room and everything so I still have 10 of these um, kind of where is Wally ish illustrations to finish for this book and it will be done so I'm estimating if everything goes right um, I probably finish the whole main illustrations for the new book for in like a few months so we'll have a new one in next year if everything goes uh, right with the publisher also and then um, yeah I'll see what I'll be doing next I 
it's on violet like blue thank you thank you for sketching with me that's great one touch of blue here and I need to put some green here Thank you. I'm looking forward to publishing it because I have been already making it for three years and I'm rather happy to finish it. <laughs> the, the publisher accepts my paintings, but the problem can be with like the price of paper and um, like we had the pandemic which changed a lot of things uh, changed like a lot of prices and stuff so there are some things that can change but um, maybe not if the book will be accepted or not but how it will look and how it will feel and when it will be printed and, and how much it will cost and so on like I don't know why, but the price of paper is going up uh, recently, they tell me, and um, it's harder to like print on very good paper because it's very hard to actually get it, like the stock. Okay, I should stop. I should stop with this. I should stop with this because it's a nice place, I think, right now. Hmm? Yeah, oh, more. What the? Not today. Like, just a little bit. I'm done. Uh, yeah, the, the paper gets a bit different uh, when it's already painted on, but not so much, I guess. This is uh, a very really smooth paper uh, to begin with, so um, it doesn't change so much. Yeah, it seems that the prices of paper exploded in Japan too, so um, maybe these things are connected. I think this is finished. Um, I drew the lines for this with a ballpoint pen with a Schmidt, uh, just a regular oil based. Um, I think it's called Schmidt 635 or something like that, um, refill, and colored it with Derwent Inktense watercolors. Um, the stream when I'm doing the uh, lines is on my Patreon for my patrons. Uh, if you are a patron, you can see it and other streams that I do every month. And yeah, I will show you briefly uh, some of the sketches in the sketchbook, not everything. Um, as I said, I will be making a ebook of this sketchbook, uh, all the sketches from here. Like all the sketches are made in like about Jindaiji, so the place that we are uh, living close uh, to right now. 
Uh, so I want to make like uh, sketches from Jin Daiji sketchbook book that I'll um, put out digitally. And yeah, a lot of them are made with the intense watercolors, but some are with just regular watercolors. You can all, you can like say which ones are which because these ones are very nice uh, kind of matte and not so intensive blacks. But if you go to one that is made with just regular watercolors, you can see like how kind of contrast it is. So um, th these watercolors are very interesting um, uh, medium. And once again, I would like to thank Steven Zapata for like mentioning them on his stream because yeah, it was very nice to work with them recently. This is a uh, Stillman and Burn Zeta series sketchbook. Yeah. So it's already more than half full and I still need to do some sketches to finish it, but I already scanned most of the uh, ones that are here and I'll be publishing them as, a, as an ebook. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm sorry for the uh, camera shenanigans in the beginning, but yeah, tests are tests. And for now, I think I'll stay with the old checked system and um, be streaming this way. Uh, until I figure out how to make the new camera cooler, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, thank you uh, very much for joining me today. And uh, if you want to see more streams and ask me questions and be a, a Q and A kind of uh, situation, uh, maybe consider um, joining me on Patreon. And there are already um, a lot of archived Q and A's and sessions and live streams like this there. And um, I also have a lot of nice sketches and full resolution files on Patreon for you to download too. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, thank you for joining me here today. And I wish you a very good day, night, morning, or whatever you have in your time zone. Thank you. And um, goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you in the next stream. <laughs>